finds you well. And thank you for joining WealthFest Educational Lightboard Series. My name is Chad Dockin, National Account Manager with WealthVest, and today's topic is a review of the last 5,000 years of interest rate history. By walking through interest rates over a long period of time, I hope to add context for today's near historic low interest rates. Let's look back to 3000 BC all the way through the late 17th century. Starting in the Fertile Crescent between the Tigris and the Euphrates River, Sumer was a thriving ancient civilization situated in Mesopotamia. Although first settled by humans between 4500 and 4000 BC, in 3000 BC, early records found in excavations of cuneiform tokens in their largest metropolitan city, Uruk, and others indicate that interest rates were 33% per year for barley and 20% per year for silver during the Sumerian period. Now we move to around 1900 BC, the Babylonian dynasty, located in central Mesopotamia or modern day Iraq. Hammurabi, the sixth king of the dynasty, established the Code of Hammurabi, a collection of 282 rules regarding commercial transactions and requirements of justice, among other things. The Code of Hammurabi recognized the previous Sumerian rates and set them as legal maximums. The specific law, Law 88, states, if a merchant lends grain at interest, for one gur, he shall receive 100 sila as interest, or 33%. If he lends money at interest, for one shekel of silver, he shall receive one fifth of a shekel as interest, or 20%. The overall effect was a lower average rate, hovering around 10% throughout the Babylonian Empire. By the third century BC, after the fall of Babylon to the Persian King Cyrus, Greek financial systems were becoming increasingly highly developed and the use of credit was commonplace. The expansion of credit systems, however, further pressured interest rates. Rates during this period dropped further from the Babylonian period. Between these two dates, we really see the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. In 300 AD, industry, trade, and the Latin language decayed. As the fall of the Roman Empire was well underway and interest rates surged as a result. In 500 AD, during the Byzantine Empire, Justinian I attempted to reconcile the Roman law and their own jurisprudence and established a 10-man council to evaluate all Roman law and address the conflicting rules. The Justinian Code lowered legal maximum interest rates once again to in between four to 8% based on the status of the creditor. The Dark Ages caused a gap in records, providing very little reliable history for interest rates. However, interest rates records show that in 1694, the Bank of England began to lend at a 6% interest rate. This mark represents the modern day record keeping by the Bank of England. Walking through interest rate movements since this period has shown that we have only recently reached record low interest rates worldwide, with signs of rates increasing not only in the United States, but abroad as well. At WealthFest, we know that rising interest rates create unique challenges for retirees. Traditional fixed income solutions like bonds will decrease in value on the secondary market when interest rates rise. FINRA issued an investor alert, giving the following example, a bond fund with 10-year duration will decrease in value by 10% if interest rates rise by 1%. With the potential for interest rate hikes, we could face a serious change in bond values. As recently as two years ago, interest rates reached 5,000-year lows. With rates rising globally, this may be a concern for individuals invested into long-term bonds and bond funds. There are ways to plan around rising interest rates, and WealthFest is here to help. To learn more about current solutions to assist in addressing rising interest rate risk, please don't hesitate to reach out to your dedicated WealthFest wholesaler. We're excited to assist you on how to position this sales idea in your next meeting with suitable clients. We look forward to speaking with you soon.